we did things a little bit different today. Actually, I think I have done it once before, but I split the kittens up. Oh, do you see that fly over there? There's about six or seven flies in here. And no matter what I do, I cannot get rid of them. Like I have a fly slaughter and I have been like killing them, but I'll kill them and then like 10, 12 hours later, there's more. This drives me crazy. Anyway, I put some of the kittens in the bathroom. Well, actually these kittens were in the bathroom first. Um, and then I fed the other ones up here before I cleaned. And then when I started cleaning, I left the other kittens in here. And halfway through, I take I took a break because I always have to take a break halfway through. I just have to. And then I switched the kittens out, finished cleaning, and now I'm feeding these kittens for two reasons. One, they love to watch me clean. And two, I have noticed um, that sometimes some of the kittens get pushed out of the food. So I have been making a really concerted effort to not only like separate their feeding time, use more plates or platters. Like yesterday when I fed them, I had two little plates along with the big plates for the littler kittens um, and was using like the baby food on them just to, you know, get them kind of used to the food. But the reason we are starting so late today, it's about 3.30, 4 o'clock. And this is gonna be controversial. I don't like it either, but I, 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 don't, I don't know what else to do. The kittens have been scratching and scratching and scratching. And then last night, um, really late, I noticed that on Mahjong, you could just see flea dirt. And if you see flea dirt, there's enough fleas that it's not good. So, you know, I combed them with the flea comb as much as I could. Because I cannot keep giving them baths. It's just as bad for them to have so many baths. It's going to like, they're going to shrivel up. Well, so I thought, well, I'll comb them now. And then I'll comb in the morning. And then this morning I got up and I was combing them. And I was taking like a damp paper towel and wiping it off. And then, you know, and I checked the other ones. Well, Prim had a little bit of flea dirt on her and Hippo. So I call, I just couldn't, I called the vet because... The flea X works, but it's like it only works for a little while. Like they, they come right back. Like it works for like 24, 48 hours. Cause you can see them dying. Like when you spray it on them, you can see it dying. With them having a little bit of colds and oh, there's so many of them. You know, it's really not good for them to have fleas. Fleas can make them anemic. Fleas can make them sick. It definitely doesn't help them gain weight. In the slightest look, she's got fuzz. he's got fuzz up there, um, and it's just not good. So I called the vet. Well, I called my vet first, and he was he is like, you just need to give them some advantage too. Um, that's what he always tells me to give them, and I just thought I can't. It's chemicals. So then I called the kittens vet, the one that I really like that like teaches me everything, and he was like, yeah, you have two options. You can keep every single day trying to get rid of them by vacuuming, cleaning, or you can do the advantage. He said, if it will make you feel better, you can tell me exactly every single kitten's weight and I will pre-draw it for you and you can come pick it up. And I just, oh, and I went back and forth, but okay, I'll think about it. You know, I just, I put it off. Well, then I came back in here and poor Mahjong was just like scratching and scratching and scratch. I mean, he would, and he was like making a noise while he was scratching and it just, I was like, okay, I've got to. And you know, I'm home with them so I can watch them for any, um, side effects. You know, if we use their exact weight and he draws each individual one up, you know, cause I'm not just going to go get one of those little vials and put the whole vial on them. But, so what we did is I weighed every single one and then I went down there with their weight and hit the vet tech gave me individual syringes of each individual person because I mean it, it you don't I mean I really 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 hate the chemical stuff ever since 
Genji has that burn on his neck from it. I have just, I'm not used to it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But I don't know what else to do. And, you know, that's, and that's why they're so itchy. Um, he did say, you know, while they're dying, while the fleas are dying, they're going to be, like, really itchy. So, I came home, anyway, and I put it on everybody and sat with everybody and watched them watch. You should have seen me. I know they were just like, why are you staring at me? So, and no, so far, knock on wood, that was six hours ago. And so far, knock on wood, like I said, nobody has had any reaction on their neck or, you know, uh, physically or internally that I can see. Um, other than they are scratching like fire, but he said that would be normal. So, uh, hopefully, it'll be okay. I mean, I'm not going to make it a regular routine, but I have to get rid of their poor fleas. Alright, we have everybody back in the room now. And look, you would think, like, I didn't feed them, but they, they ate. Oh, well. <laughs> Tori girl never went to sleep right by the food. Like, ate and ate and ate, and then just, like, went over and fell asleep by the food. Hello, little bug. Hi. Hello. Oh, you know, and I always notice that I don't film Mahjong very much, but it's really because Mahjong is always so close to me that I would have to like film the opposite way, like film me. Because see, I mean, watch, he'll even, like if I let his face go, He'll walk to me. Hold on. See? I mean, he's always, like, if you'll, if you'll watch the videos, um, if he's awake and he's not in the shot, he'll, he'll, he's behind the camera because, like, I'll have him. He'll either be, like, on my arm where he is right now or on my lap. <laughs> and I just feel bad because there's really not a lot I noticed editing today. There's just not, see, there's just not a lot of film. Good morning. And I'm out of breath. And I'm sorry. But the funniest thing just happened. I mean, it could have been horrible. But it wasn't. It was funny. Um, I had moved this chair over here where Vegas is. Um, because I have to stand on it to open and close the vent um because when i close the vent and have the vaporizer on it will get a little too hot in here so i kind of have to go back and forth well i went to get their second breakfast because they are now having second breakfasts and second dinners um and then just like a midday meal and an evening meal <laughs> They're having a lot of food. So anyway, so the chair was right there. Well, when I opened the door to bring in the food, all the kittens were right there. See, like where Mahjong is, and, and I mean, they were like all right here. So when I opened the door, they all in mass, I mean, every single one of them ran out the door. <laughs> the only thing that saying to me was that I have from um out right outside the door is a pile of their dirty laundry from where I changed changed everything last night um you know I haven't gotten it all done yet and I put it out there because I don't want the I don't want to put it in the laundry room because the other cats will mingle with it and the other cats won't come to the end of this hallway uh I, they just won't they know there's kittens in here or cats in here and they just don't come down here so I leave it out there while I'm doing it anyway but that's the only thing that saved me because if that hallway would have been clear they'd have been all over <laughs> I mean it's not that big a deal I could have found them my house is not that big but I mean it was all of them every single one of them just in mass went out the door oh y'all 
That was stressful. That was stressful. Did you have your second breakfast? Do you have some second breakfast on your paw? Or on your what? On your leg. Look. And then, I mean, guys, this is their second. Like, I just brought them breakfast 30 minutes ago. And they cleaned all three plates. And then I bring in the new ones. And look. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, what are y'all doing? And really, I came in here to clean because it's a disaster. But everybody's being so cute. And this will probably be a two-day video because I did not film hardly anything yesterday because I was a nervous wreck about the flea medicine. Is that a flea? Let me see. No. Um, I was a nervous wreck about the flea medicine. And I just watched them. Like, I was in here so much yesterday. And I just want... What is it, baby? Oh, Look at you climbing up. Come on. We're doing it. Look at that. Puck just climbed up the wrong side of the cat tree. Hi. Hi. I know. I know. Oh, thank you. Oh, did you see that? Domino just rubs his face on everything. He learned that from the Siamese family. The Siamese family rub on everything. It's a good baby. <sighs> okay, but to update you from yesterday, everyone pulled through fine. Nobody has any um, effects. Yeah. Say, is it say nobody had any effects at all? Oh, it's okay. I know. You have to be Tori. Tori does not like to be filmed at all. No. Um, look at this. I don't know. Yeah, say, I don't like it. I'm shy. Oh, hi, Puffin. Hi, Puffin. But yes, they did not have any effects. However, um, and I have not seen any scratching today. They did scratch a bunch yesterday, but I was, I've been told that's normal. However, Puffin, Prim, and Streak will not get rid of their cold. Everybody else, oh, is fine. But Prim and Streak just will not let go. Like, they'll seem fine, and then the next time I look at them, either their eyes will be watery, or they'll be sneezing. And today, it's prim, her eyes are watery, and streak is sneezing, and eyes are watery. Oh gosh, I wish you could see behind the camera. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> mm, we did the fluff ball. Fluff ball had his head stuck up in between me and the camera. Hi, little puffin. Hi, little mahjong. Did you eat? Yes, you did. Yeah, your markings are really starting to come through, aren't they? Yes, they are. What? What? I know, little one. Hello, sweet. You're going to be upset with me in a minute because I have to have that. Yeah, I got to clean. And your beds are clean. I didn't get their um, round beds dry before bedtime last night and I felt really bad about it, but... Well, I was tired yesterday, but they're clean now, but I'm going to clean this stuff up before I put them in here. Oh, is that good? Okay. Show everybody your ear. See your markings. See, I'm getting them on my ears. Yeah. And my face and my feet. And show everybody your gorgeous tail. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. What? Who is that? Who is that? Let me see you. Oh my goodness, that's Ro Rosie. Rosie has like tripled in size since she started eating big kid food. Now, she actually mainly eats baby food. She doesn't actually eat cat food very well yet. But she will eat her some baby food. And look how big she's gotten. That's her. And remember, she used to be like tiny. Now she's right up there with everybody else. Prim is still the tiniest one. Two things just happened simultaneously. 
just now that I have to tell you guys about because it's hilarious, kind of sad, <laughs> and embarrassing. So I'm like halfway through cleaning the litter boxes and my doorbell rings. And y'all, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I mean, it's not terribly late, but you know. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I ran in, and, you know, and I opened the door and there's a woman there. And I'm like, hello, can I help you? And she's like, are you the cat lady? No lie. Didn't even think about it. I went, yes. <laughs> like this random lady rings my doorbell and she's like, are you the cat lady? And I'm like, and, and I didn't even think about it. I just answered her. I was like, yes. Oh my goodness. Look how cute this is. Are y'all the cutest things ever? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I think that's Tori. Okay, biggest cat, littlest cat. <laughs> and a teddy bear. I'm pretty sure, no, that's not Tori. There's Tori right there. Who is that? I mean, that has to be Swish. No, there's Swish. And there's Mario. Oh, no, I guess that's, that has to be Rosie. Process of Elimination says that's Rosie. But Rosie looks awful big. Of course, Rosie's gotten big now that she's eating big people food. Okay, so anyway. So I'm like, yes. And she says, I'm sorry. She said, I came by earlier, but nobody answered. Which I don't know how because I've been here. Unless I was in the backyard. I don't know. Oh, but she. Um. Oh. No, that's Hippo. Okay, good. That makes me feel better because I'm just like, Rosie is not that big. Um, she said, she said, I live, and she told me where she lived, which is about four streets over, and she said, and I've been feeding this cat for over a year now, um, and she said, I noticed yesterday that the cat has to either be pregnant or it just gave birth, um, and I don't know what to do, you know, and we talked a while and, you know, she said, I've tried to get the cat to come inside before, um, but it just runs off like when I open the door. She said, I, she hasn't been able to touch it yet, but she can sit like almost right beside it while it's eating. And so, you know, we have talked about, well, she showed me some pictures. Oh my goodness, this cat looks almost exactly like Cuddles. I was just like, oh my gosh. So I don't know if like Cuddles had kids that I didn't know about um, before I got her fixed or if she has a sister. You know, it's, she could have a sister. I don't know. But I was, and I showed her pictures of Cuddles. Now this cat has more white on her than Cuddles. Anyway, that doesn't matter. None of that matters. <laughs> so she was like, what do I do? She said, I really want to get you know, uh, vet care for this cat and yada yada. So we made a plan. Um, I, I, I gave her the trap open and I said, just feed her in this for a couple days and, um, you know, we will, uh, trap her and bring her in and see if we can get her socialized and get her to the vet. Um, cause she really wants to keep the cat. She's like, but if she has a bunch of babies, I can't keep, um, you know, all the kittens and, you know, and I said, well, we'll get to that when that happens. Uh, you know, but we made a plan. But the funny part happened about halfway through her showing me pictures, a spider on a, on a string comes down from the door jam and like right in front of my face. Like it just like, is hovering right in front of my face. And I'm not like scared of spiders. I'm not scared of most any kind of bug or animal. But when a spider is crawling on a string right in front of your face and you just look up and know, I was like, ah, ah. and she didn't see the spider at first. So she's come over to this woman she doesn't know's house because somebody in the neighborhood, which I really would love to be a fly on the wall when people in the neighborhood are talking about me. But anyway, 
And you know, and I started screaming and I know she probably wanted to run, but then she saw the spider and then she was, she was more freaked out about it than I was. Cause I just grabbed it by the string and moved the string over and let the spider go on its way. But oh my gosh. So then I was like totally embarrassed because I'm trying to be professional. And at the same time, you have to remember I'm disgusting because I've been in here cleaning up poop and litter boxes and everything and I did do the hand sanitizer before I answered the door but I didn't clean it myself <laughs> oh my gosh and y'all wonder I mean people have to think I'm bananas oh but the good thing is is she's going to you know take care of this cat and I did tell her because when I'm done with everyone here, I am going to probably take a break from the shelter for a little while, uh, just, just because, um, and either pull uh, my own set of cat and kittens like I did before Anna and Aurora, or um, socialize some, some big ferals. Depending, it just depends, but if this is what falls in my lap, I mean, it depends on what falls in my lap. And, um, I did tell her, you know, if she needs help, you know, I gave her my number, and she obviously knows where I live. Um, and then I am going to go help her in a few nights, uh, trap the cat, if I can't get the cat. You know, if you can get close enough to, um, touch her... I may just see about getting the big carrier and seeing if she'll go on the big carrier to eat and then just shutting the door. Because the traps, I really don't like them. I hate traps. I hate trapping cats. It drives me insane. Um, I always feel horrible for days afterwards. Um, I mean, I've done it more than I would like, but I always feel terrible. Oh my gosh, you're just the cutest thing ever. I wish there was a spotlight on you right now. Oh my goodness, you're just precious. You would think I would get tired of them, but I'd never get tired of them. <laughs> they are always just precious. Hello. What's wrong with your eye? I know it's not mad and shut. I just checked you earlier. Am I being too loud? I'm sorry. What is it? What is it, baby? Okay. Alright, I've talked for like a hundred years. <laughs> 